Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the Gaming Casual, and in the previous episode we went up to Death Mountain, uh, talked to the boss there, and came here to the Lost Woods to get Saria's song. And while we're here, I want to do a little bit of a side quest gathering. Uh, not really all that important. I want to sit and shoot in the center. If I can aim this thing. Come on. Get it. There we go. My aim with the slingshot isn't always so good. But he'll give you a, a seed satchel that holds 40 uh, Deku seeds. I don't really use my uh, slingshot all that often, and I feel like the quiver is more vital to you, a bigger quiver, when you have the finally have the bow and arrow, because you're probably going to be using that more. You're only a child link for so long, you know, and you're I think you're an adult link a lot more than you are a child. It would have been more useful if you were a child longer, I guess, but. And then you come down here and they will have you do this little mini game. You have to do this three times to get a heart piece. And kind of a, <laughs> it's a long uh, mini game to do. And it's not really that fun. It's kind of like Simon says. You just repeat the pattern that they give you. And using the thumbstick is not always my favorite thing to use when I'm using the C buttons. I really want to get a N64 Switch controller because they made a new N64 controller for the Switch games they put on here. But they're hard to get because they're always out of stock. So maybe one day I'll, I'll have one. Right, down, up, A. Sometimes I have trouble remembering the notes. Right, down, up, A. Down, right, down, up, A, down. Okay. I don't know if that helps me at all, singing it out. But it does help to repeat the, what I'm seeing. Down, A. Right, down, up, A, down, A. Okay, right, down, up, A, down, A. One more time for the encore. And hopefully you can get through this without having to retry. It's all based on my, my ability to remember the notes. So, up, right, up. This is start you off kind of easy with just three. Right, uh, up, right, up. Up, right, up, A. I might need to watch myself a speed run of this game 100% to see how they go about completing this game. Because this part would seem like the most annoying. Up, up. Oh, I forgot. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's try one more time. I feel like this uh, mini game would be a lot easier if I wasn't like talking. So, I'm just gonna do very light commentary while I'm watching this. It also depends on like the, like the notes that they use. When they start adding A into it, it's kind of crazy. Okay, that's pretty good. Left, up, down, right, left, down. Left, up, down, right, left, down. Left, up, right. My uh, thumb is kind of like twitchy. 
Left, up, right. <laughs> left, up, down, right, left, down, up. Okay, I think one more, one more go. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Awesome. Should be the last one, I believe. Yeah, sweet. Got myself a heart piece, didn't take too long. And I think there's a couple um, soft soil spots back in here that you can uh, put this uh, these bugs into. I'm pretty sure that they yield us uh, um, gold skull to us. I don't know what this is about, actually. What is this about? Who are you? What do you do? Do I need my flute? What am I supposed to play? I actually don't know what I'm supposed to play. <laughs> Does he tell you? No, he doesn't. Wait, actually, I think I do know what I need to play. Oh, he left. Dang it. I think you're supposed to just play Saria's song. If I remember right. For a minute there, I was like... Brain fart. I am old. I'm like 32 years old, so... <laughs> Certain things about, like, specifics about video games, sometimes I just kind of forget. But it's about, it's more about having fun than it is about being knowledgeable, I guess. There's one. Any more bugs? I thought the bugs would come back out. Maybe there's some bugs over here. Oh, it's just, just, it's just this guy. I think these guys sell you certain things or tell you secrets. Let's see. Let's see what he has to say. I surrender. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku sticks, but it costs you 40 rupees. Hey, you know what? Sure, why not? I actually have never really ever bought the expansions for my Deku sticks or anything from these guys. I've never, I don't really use a lot of my gear. I mostly just use my sword and the ocarina. In the occasional, you know, times when you need to use your bow or something like that. I probably will have to come back out here just to put that seed, a seed in that so, soft spo soil spot. I already forgot the tune to the... Yeah. There we go. I think I'll give you a heart piece. You know Saria song? We should be friends. Here, take this. Aw. A token of his friendship. It's a heart. A piece of it. A little much. Just because I sang a song or played a song for you? Okay. I'll take it though. I think I want to go this way. Uh, I don't think there's anything in that direction, but I think there's another spot where there's a soft soil. And it might be like down one of these um, corridors. I don't want to go down the wrong one. And now you don't even have the help of uh, having the song play. I, gu I guess you can tell which one is the right one by Looking at the entrance, if it's dark, it's probably the right way to go. What do you give me? I surrender and her and I'll sell you Deku Nuts. I don't really need Deku Nuts. So no. Oh wait, dang it. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to push okay. All right, uh, let's put some bugs down this patch of soft soil. I think that noise means something good. Generally. Hello? Oh, just had to wait. For a second there, I was thinking, hey, you know what? I don't think anything's coming. What do you have to say? 
All right, you win. I in return will sell you Daker sticks. One piece for fifteen rupees. Well, that's a lot. I think there's something down here too. Hello, what is this place? What does the sign say? Forest stage. We are waiting to see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. What am I supposed to do here? I don't think I really know what you're supposed to do there. So, that maybe might be something I don't genuinely remember from even the last time that I played this game. All right, now let's get out of here. I think this is the way I want to go. It is not the way I want to go. I think this way is better. Well, actually, was it? No, actually, I did want to go that way. I'm trying to find the entrance to the, the Death Mountain, is all. That's all I'm trying to do. I guess I know why this is called the Lost Woods, because I am kind of lost right now. But mostly because I didn't remember if I wanted to go back or forward. Okay, let's go sing this song to this guy and uh, make him happy so uh, he will give us the tools we need to get inside of the Dodongo Cave. All right, there will be the second person I sing this for. I say, keep singing, seeing what I meant, play. Look at him dancing. That's a nice little jig you got there. It's cutting quite the rug. <laughs> it just backs away. It's like cringe. Oh. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Hot. <laughs> what a hot beat. Ooh, ah. Yeehaw! Ooh, yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I'm Darunia. Darunia? I don't know. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire, too? The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is a race-hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of Dodongo's Cavern and prove you're a real man? That way everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the Spiritual Stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick a bomb flower using A. I guess the bomb flowers must be heavy. But isn't that their special crop? Man, this is some bomb flower, man. Hey, man. This is some bomb flower, you know? I don't know. It, uh, marijuana is legal where I am, and... <laughs> They call the buds flower. So, I don't know. Maybe that's inappropriate for my audience, but I think most of you are old enough to take a joke. Hey, let's see. No, I don't really need to be here, but... I think there's a big old Gorin back in there, but I don't really need to see him right now. Not yet. But now that I can pick up the bomb flowers, I can get a couple things, I think. I probably am not going to be making my way into the Dongo Cavern at this juncture, because I kind of want to save that for one whole episode. Um, so I'll probably do some other side stuff. We gotta come over here anyways, and try to, ooh, not drop it, dang it. 
Not close enough. Might take a couple tries just to... Nice. I do want to get myself that shield that's back in the, the graveyard, but I need to wait till night when that stupid kid isn't there to tattle on me. Dang it. Normally you can, like, drop onto that. I just... The proper way to get it is to uh, plant the, the flower there and wait till you're an adult. But I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for my life to get older. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just want to get that heart piece now. So let's go do that. Since I don't have a whole lot else to do. I want to find a actually some bugs for that soft soil spot. Because I'm pretty sure all the soft soil spots have the cucarachas in them. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, just getting money. I don't even need... I, mean, I guess I do need money, but I don't really want money. I want bugs, man. I'm like that weird kid who just plays with bugs all day. All right, let's try to line me up a little bit better. And I can come back with bugs later. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the third heart piece I've found. I keep calling it heart piece. It's called piece of heart. That's the third piece of heart I found. I have to wait till nightfall. I don't have the song of day and night. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of wait out here for night to fall. And once it does, I'll continue the video. Oops. All right. I think it's night enough for that stupid kid to be leaving me alone. So I can just go and get that gravestone moved out of the way. There's lots of nice little things hidden under the graves. I forgot there's a, a bunch of skull tulas here. Two at nighttime. I don't even know if I've mentioned that you can only find these things at night most of the time. Sometimes you can find ones here and there in the day. But they somehow like appear only at nighttime. How many do I have? <laughs> Ouch. Seven. I think you need like at least ten for the first one to end the curse. I think there's one over here. I guess it's kind of nice I can hear them scratching. So when you get close to them, you can hear it. Ouch. Come on, get up there. Let's just shoot it. Two more and I should be good. There... I think there's actually quite a bit hidden in this uh, town. So I can collect some of those before I head over to the graveyard. Luckily the time is stands still in here. Aha! There you are. Okay, I think we're doing all right. Nope. Good way to know if you found them all in the in an area is you go to the map, and if you have all the sculptulas inside of the um, area that you're in, there'll be a little skull sculptula symbol on that. On that, um, the title spot of uh, the name of the area that you're highlighted over. So if you're like looking for sculptures and you're wondering, and you're like in an area thinking there might be one, check the map and see if it is, um, 
showing you that you got them all. That way you're not wasting time in an area that you're not going to find one in. I think Kakariko Village is also part of um, the graveyard, so it's not going to have an individual spot for the graveyard in Kakariko Village. It's just... I don't know if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. And maybe once I collect all the sculptulas in the different uh, areas, you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. I don't know if there's any back here on the gravestones. I know there's one up there, but I can't get it until after. Um, oh, there's a money after I have the boomerang. So, and I can't really get the um, sun song yet. I don't think until I have the uh, Din's fire to make the, uh, Actually, there might be bugs. The dens fire to light the little torches that are in there that activates the door. There might be bugs under this. Come on. Let there be bugs. Come on. Maybe under this. Ha! Found you. Dang it. I'm having trouble getting through my menu. Okay, let's, I wish I had another uh, bottle so I can collect a couple. Let's go over here. Put a bugs inside of here. Excellent. I guess I could grab one before it disappears. It only needs one bug to go in there. Awesome. All right, let's go to the entrance of Dodongo Cave and equip maybe my shield I just uh, grabbed. That way it won't get burned up. So if you want a free Hyrulean shield, that's where you want to go. I guess I could get more bottles, but I might wait to do that until after I beat Dodongo's cave. You can go get a bottle at Lalmon Ranch from doing a mini game there. Oddly enough, it um, involves Cocos as well. I guess this game is Coco for Cuckoos. Or Cuckoo for Cocos. I don't know. <laughs> Stay away from me. You too. I see you. Just want to get this sculptula from this uh, soft soil spot. Should probably get some fairies or something, but I think I'll be okay. Let's just grab another one. Anything? Okay. Sometimes it just takes a minute. I'm not always sure if it works. Don't kill me. I'm gonna die. Alright, well. I think we will end it here. If you liked the episode, push the like button. If you have something to say, um, leave a comment. This has been the Game Casual, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.